Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a really, really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I am doing a very kind of breaking tea uh, video right now so we're not in my normal setup with the lights and everything. I was actually working from home and um, I, I was taking a little break and I saw this TMZ article and I was like, gotta tell the besties so if you want the latest in brit tea reality tea influencer tea honey make sure you subscribe let me put some lip gloss because i am looking a little dry bitch all right all right all right let's go let's go let's go okay so you guys i i'm gonna try not to um not to go a little overboard right now but britney spears is not good for nothing low down piece of shit a father now is demanding and appealing that she actually sits through a deposition. So this is what TMZ is saying. It says, Jamie Spears um, says that the judge got it wrong. Brittany should have to sit for a deposition in answer to all the allegations she's made about him and her time in the conservatorship. According to legal docs filed in the California Court of Appeals and obtained by TMZ, Jamie says it's unfair. You want to talk about unfair, Jamie? You want to talk about unfair? Oh, dumbass. 13 years of imprisonment, that's unfair, all right? Having all your rights taken away from you, that's unfair, okay? Crushing all of your dreams, that's unfair. All the mental and physical abuse, that's unfair, okay? Sit down. Um, for a deposition, allegedly, while Brittany can get away without having to sit for one. The doc state the right to take a deposition can rarely be denied in California. Deposition is a matter of right. Um, hola, Mateo. Um, Jamie's legal team also urges Brittany and her attorney, Matthew Rosengard, did not establish good cause to justify prohibiting her deposition, especially given the fact she made countless claims against Jamie for wrongdoing. Jamie says if the court had an issue with Brittany's deposition, it could have limited the topics or questions covered, but instead, um, it just shut her deposition down altogether. Girl, what are you doing? Um, he's trying, he, no, he's not trying, bitch. He got under the covers and messed my whole bed up, but you know what? It is what it is. Jamie's legal team says the one sidedness in the, uh, hang on. Jamie's legal team says the one sidedness in the trial's judges, wait, the trial judge ruling violates basic fairness that if one party has to sit for a depot, the other party should as well. The trial judge ruled whatever Jamie wanted from Brittany could be attained through writing. His legal team clearly feels that could apply to him as well. And now they're gunning for equal treatment. He sits for a depot, then she should as well. Ay, Dios mío. You know what really pisses me off? It's like, when is enough enough? You know what I mean? Like, honestly, when it... I'm rocking my Britney shirt. When is enough enough, sir? No, like, for real, though. Like, here's the thing. She is talking her... She is saying her truth. I mean, this is the person who actually lived through this, right? She lived through all of this. And she should be able to share her truth. And if he doesn't want to be looked in that in that light then maybe she sh he shouldn't have done the things that she is alleging, right? Alleging, I have to say, because, you know, whatever. Um, but I just think that it's so crazy that Britney Spears is being now, I mean, if the judge already said she didn't have to sit in the deposition is because the judge said, sir, you've done enough. You know what I mean? That's what, that's my opinion. I mean, she has gone through a lot. She has gone through enough. Why does she have to keep going through this? What I don't understand is why don't they just leave her alone? Why doesn't her family leave her alone? Like, why doesn't Kevin get a fucking job and shut the fuck up? How come Jamie Lynn is writing a book that nobody reads? How come these things are happening? Like, what are they doing? When enough? When is enough enough? Like, that's what I don't understand. You know, I don't understand until when are they going to do this? Until when are they going to bother her? Like, for real. Like, you know what? Oh, girl, hang on. This is what Brittany needs, bitch. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, I got you. You know what Brittany needs, bitch? This is what Brittany needs. She needs to get some Palo Santo. She needs to light that shit up, okay? And she needs to just fucking ward out all that evil energy, honey. And you know what? 
it obviously did something to her because she actually deactivated her account today so jamie this is for you you need to like get away from everyone um no but for real though like i just i don't understand how come they don't leave her alone oh yeah she deactivated her account um she deactivated her account today all of a sudden which really sucks because it's like i just you know she is trying to heal right she is trying to just be the best version of herself not even the best version just a, a version imagine you're living your life because of you're living your life how everyone wants you to live your life you are doing and saying what everyone wants you to do and say you are literally marching in the in the beat of their drum not even your drum bitch okay this is not brave new girl all right so I mean, imagine a 40-year-old woman trying to find herself again after all of these years being imprisoned. Now, let's say for an odd reason that he feels that she is lying about everything, then I don't, I mean, in that case, I, I don't know. But listen, the fact that they don't leave her alone. The fact that they thought that they could do all of these things and she's going to stay quiet. That's the part that honestly kind of like shocked me the most because I'm like, girl, the amount of shit that Brittany's been through, you thought that she wasn't going to talk. What they don't want, and this is what it is, what they don't want is for Brittany's book to come out. What they don't want is for Brittany to keep on talking and to keep on saying everything, right? But if they are that delusional that they think that Britney is lying, then God, I don't know. And also, I did a Jamie Lynn video and I was saying like, the reason I feel that they keep fighting and that they keep uh, attacking her or not standing up for her is because they all loved having her, in my opinion, in the conservatorship. Because if, they were, if she was in the conservatorship, they had the power, they had the money, they had the control. Now they don't have anything, right? So what's happening is that, you know, little by little, things, thing, uh, the money starts drying up and I bet you anything that they were not smart enough to save some coin, bitch, because damn, at least did you save any coin? Probably not. Um, and I don't, is this true that Lynn Spears, her mom wants Brittany to pay for her legal bills? Like, girl, listen, I just, I just, I can't do this. Like, I honestly, I can't. It, it, for me, it's like, Britney Spears finally has found some kind of peace. No, actually, not even. She is in the middle of healing. She is in the middle of finding peace. She is in the middle of starting over. Have you guys heard that song from Sabrina Carpenter? You guys should definitely hear it. It's called The Middle of Starting Over. Bitch, that was my song when I first moved to LA. I was just like, you know, we, 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 yeah, it was like my song, bitch. I would listen to it like over and over and just cry. But anyways, um... I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you so much for um, for allowing me to, you know, to spend these uh, minutes with you. I got to go back to work, bitch. I, I usually film at nighttime um, when, I, when I'm off work. So, like, around, I don't know, like, around 6, 7. And then I film until, like, 9. And then I'm editing till about, like, yeah like 12 or something so um i will film tomorrow's videos a little later but i just wanted to give you guys this breaking tea anyways i love you guys i'm grateful for you and i will see you guys in my next video